What's going on folks, Retrospective Dave here and welcome to my legit check of the Vissy Dunk Low in collaboration with Verdi and Nike SB. Now this sneaker was extremely hard to get for retail so I presume that if you clicked on this video you probably spent upwards of $400, maybe more, on a sneaker that you don't know for sure is 100% authentic. So if that's the case my intended goal is to give you reassurance that the sneaker you purchased is indeed legit. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe throughout the video and without further ado let's get into the shoe. So first you want to make sure that you have a woven footbed. You will also have what appears to be a hole punch in the middle of the heel of the footbed and underneath that woven piece should be green. You will also have white and yellow stitching coming across the footbed as well. So when you flip the insoles over, this will probably be one of the biggest giveaways if your shoe is indeed fake. On the authentic pairs, which is what you're looking at here, the space in between the top of the insole and the start of the center piece is very small. On the fake pairs, you will have wider spacing at the top and on the sides. So if you focus your attention towards the bottom of the insoles, the authentic pairs will have the letter B below the padding on both insoles. The fake ones will have the B as well. However, the difference is the B on the authentic pairs will be a little bit more faded and you won't really notice it unless it's something that you're looking for. The B on the fake pairs will be a little bit more bold, debossed, or stand out to the naked eye. All right, folks, another point of authentication is to check for the shoe paper inside of the shoe. The authentic pairs will have soft tan paper with little specks of red and white scattered throughout. The fake pairs that are already out there will have white paper instead. Also, please make it a point to check your production dates. The dates that you see on screen here may not match the dates that you have on your pair. However, the dates that are on your pair should be the same between your left and right shoe. In the event that your dates do not match, that doesn't mean that the shoe is necessarily fake. However, it is becoming a standard for your left and right shoe to have matching dates. Now, if you bought these sneakers dead stock, then your extra laces should be looped in with the yellow laces on the right shoe and your keychain should be attached to the shoe strings on the left shoe. Some of the fakes that are already out there will come with the extra laces and the keychain as well. However, they will be attached to a plastic string and usually they're attached to the wrong shoe altogether. That is definitely a dead giveaway. So if you plan on spending extra on this shoe on the aftermarket, please make sure that the presentation is correct. Also, when it comes to the keychain, it is silver plated on the Authentics. Not only is it silver plated, but it also has the Verdi copyright on the skateboard. Some of the fake pairs that are already out there will be made of rubber and will not feature the Verdi copyright. So another giveaway for some of you out there will be the length and the texture of the furry material. Authentic pairs will have longer fur that extends past certain areas of the shoe. For example, the fur hangs over the stitching on the mid panel, whereas on the fake pairs, the fur is much shorter. Texture wise, the fur on the authentic pairs is very straight and very thin, whereas the fur on the fake pairs will have a wavy or curly texture and the fakes will usually be more bushy as well. As for the box, you will have a stamp underneath the box lid. You will also have a YCM sticker inside of the box and a Nike sticker underneath the box. You will also have a Nike SB sticker inside of the box and the official colorway for this shoe is blue gaze and arctic pink. So for the most part, I feel like this sneaker will be pretty easy to authenticate. Of course, as time goes on, counterfeit companies will be making adjustments to these shoes to make them closer to the authentic as possible. However, I do feel like you'll be able to distinguish the difference between the two. Also, if you got something useful out of this video, definitely hit the like, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Also hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. And until then, stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.